All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at the Playmobil City Life Luxury Beach House. And this is supposed to be right up on the waterfront and you can see either this section here, this kind of empty area as being sand and beach, or you can imagine there being water there. So you could have water craft come up there, or you could imagine the water being over there or the beach being there. You know, it's kind of separating out the terrain area, but it has a very clear kind of pier section to it. And then the main house is off in the back. It actually has two removable and interchangeable uh, components out towards the edges. Oh no, don't lose the figure. I'll come back to that in a minute, but this can actually be attached on to the end over here. And similarly, the, you know, it's kind of like a, it's a, a deck kind of area and has the, the nice uh, little umbrella, you know, parasol covering and uh, just a little lounge chair there. But this over here is also a removable section. So if you want to place these elsewhere and just kind of change up the play experience or how this is displayed, you can do that a little bit. It's, it's just connected right on at the end at the end. And this is just a, a small little little hanging chair where you can have somebody who's just chilling out, reading a book or you know, messing around on a laptop or a mobile phone or something. I like the overall shape of how this this whole thing is done. It, it feels very, very tropical and it really feels like a a nice destination for just hanging out on a, on a vacation. They put a little bit of green print on there, which is a good choice down on the, on the ground. A couple of large uh, coconut palm trees is nice. And you can put the small little dinette set wherever you want. Right now it's on the outside because I'm assuming that the weather is just amazing, but you can put it on the inside as well if you want to. And then there's a little grilling setup going on over here. That's nice. A little barbecue grill. I've got some some meats there and another small table. A little bit lacking in table space. That's pretty common with Playmobil stuff, though. They give you so many accessories, especially things related to food, that you don't always have places to put all of them. Steps over here just kind of bring you back down to just the regular ground level. It's a nice little transition, a little bit more foliage here. The house itself, though, uh, I'm not a fan of the the pink. It's a very odd. Uh, pink, a very outdated pink, I would say. Uh, it just doesn't work for me. It feels, I don't know, mm, 70s maybe? <laughs> Early 80s or something? I don't know, just just a, a strange color. And they, they've used that a number of times uh, across different products in the line. Also, I guess some other countries would use colors like that. So it's more of a regional thing, perhaps. The stairway going up the side and the shape of the whole thing is actually pretty nice. You've got a little area under here that's just a little cover. You can use that for storage. If you have any a bicycle or something, you can put it down there. The jet ski that's included with the set you know, can potentially be just temporarily stored down there. Yeah, a little overhang, no big, no big deal, you know. Also, the set comes with a surfboard that can be used with one of your figures, so that could be stored back there or something. It's just a useful space. The lower floor of this, <laughs> again, sorry, uh, the colors, and in this case, not just the colors, but also the design on there. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Not, not a fan. It just looks very uh, uh, cheap and, and cheesy to me in a real world kind of way. Uh, yeah, not gonna say anything more about that. It's just, it's just weird. I like the laptop though, and the little sticker that they have for the screen there that kind of represents the Playmobil <laughs> website that's up on there. Makes sense. And then there's a little TV stand off to the side, and also a little, a little phone included, and the TV has a little menu that's showing up there and that's that's nice uh, yeah it's 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 just fine there and it's kind of a small room down here this is the the largest interior space most of the room is taken up by the bed it's large enough for two people to use it and that's appropriate for the two figures that are included you can close the the shutters oh no i'm knocking more stuff over close the shutters back here and you can see gosh so many things being knocked over i should do this while i'm actually looking from the front you can see that up here as well and these uh you want to open them from the inside by pushing them out it's it a little bit a little bit tricky to to open them from from the outside when they're fully closed up of course there's always a lechuza branded planter if they're going to do a planter they're going to use their own brand so you got the, the little signature down at the base of that this is a nice looking colored 
uh, calla lily, but this is a very small space up here. So there's really not a whole lot that you can do with that particular space. However, there's also a balcony over here to the side and you can use that as an alternate grilling space. So you can actually have your, your food going on up here on top and then you can bring just the small little table that's currently on the ground floor. You can bring that right here. So this could kind of be just a small little entertaining space. Here are the two figures that I kept knocking over. Don't worry, they're okay, they're still happy. The male figure I think looks great. That's pretty striking and pretty modern and has a, a good amount of detailing. I appreciate the inclusion of the collar, which is actually a separate piece. And then the female character almost looks like she's got a tennis skirt on there. It's a interchangeable piece and she also has the, uh, the yellow sunglasses on. That's a, a removable insert piece there. You can leave those off if you want to, but uh, you know, it's just kind of part, of part of the whole thing of being out and, and getting tanned and everything. And there's not a whole lot to see on these from the back. But there's how they look on the jet ski and the surfboard. So the surfboard has the little stand on it that you can rotate around so you can make your figure kind of you know face in, in different directions and still be connected at the feet so it's not going to fall off. And this, this jet ski or, or water scooter is pretty nice and pretty sizable. Has nice detailing, nice graphics on it, nice color scheme. I really like the, the color scheme and this will actually float and it has a little connection on the base of it so you could hook up the little powered motor set if you have one of those the little blue motor with a rudder on it that is battery operated so you could actually make this thing go on its own so i'm not particularly thrilled with a couple of the colors they used for the bed and for the upper part of the building i'm fine with pink it's just that particular brand of pink that they use there which is actually a little bit magenta again just to me culturally it feels dated for for where i've been brought up but the entire set on the whole is really nice i like the the shape of the terrain i like the configurability of it it feels again very tropical and very very happy and sunny it just feels like a nice place to be. Let me know what you think about this one by leaving your thoughts in a comment down below on the video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you again soon.